and then we get a Cl free radical along with this Cl free radical. Now you can see that uh, the Cl free radical has been removed again because the CCl bond is weaker than the CF bond. So in preference, it, it will always be broken. The CF bond will try to retain its strength. So the CCl bond will be broken. So these chlorine free radicals, they react with their very reactive free radicals. So you know that radicals is a, a radical is a species with an unpaired electron. So radicals are very reactive species. So, and that's why they're called radicals. So the, re the chlorine free radicals, they react with the ozone layer. They react with the ozone layer and they, they destroy it. So you don't need to learn the equation for the reaction with ozone, but you need to know that they react with the ozone layer to destroy it. So, so because of this destruction of the ozone, a hole is, has been formed in the ozone because of these CFCs. So um, uh, you can see that um, it's very dangerous. And it's dangerous because the ozone layer actually, the, it protects us from the harmful radiation coming from the sun. And if it is broken, if there is a hole in the layer, then this harmful radiation can easily enter. So that's why some governments and some countries have banned the use of chlorofluorocarbons. And actually, the ozone, the hole in the ozone layer is slowly recovering. So that's a good news for us. Now, uh, we have some solutions to replace these CFCs. So they are hydrofluorocarbons. So basically, instead of chlorofluorocarbons, hydrofluorocarbons, which means hydrogens instead of chlorine. Now they are used in aerosol propellants and fridges these days. And uh, or we can use HFEs, which are hydrofluoroethers. You don't, you do not need to know what an ether is, but hydrofluoroethers, they are used as solvents and cleaning and drying agents. So you should remember all of this so that uh, you are fully prepared for the exam in, in case they ask. So this is the end of the presentation. We have covered everything in the halogenoalkenes chapter in this topic. So now you can practice some past paper questions and uh, you should keep revising. So you can find past papers at gcguide.org. The link is in the description. And you can email me your doubts at alevelchemistryfree at gmail.com. The email ID is also in the description. So keep practicing, stay tuned and thank you for watching.